Hey, so welcome to my kitchen. Um, this is my first real cooking effort on camera, I guess I should say. So please bear with me. Um, we're gonna work out some kinks here and there. Uh, what I really wanna do is a vlog style cooking channel. So you'll see me pick up the camera, you'll see me move you guys around to get different angles. Um, I really wanna show you what it's like to cook um, in the real world. So if you're coming here to look for vegan or vegetarian recipes or how to eat um, fit in 2016 and beyond, um, that's probably not what we're gonna do here. Um, I can definitely guarantee that we're gonna do everything in moderation. So you'll see me cook beef, you'll see me cook chicken, you'll see me cook fish, you'll see me cook um, somewhat vegetarian meals. Uh, you'll see me cook a lot of different things. And what my main goal is to inspire you to get back in the kitchen. So if you are vegan or you are vegetarian or you are gluten free or someone in your house is, that you can find those recipes and you can cook those recipes and you can experiment and maybe add things um, or subtract things or just shake it up entirely. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I find my recipes, I'm gonna show you how um, I cook those recipes and I'm gonna show you in the middle of the week that sometimes I just don't have time and I think it's okay to have a little bit of processed food every once in a while. Um, if you cook it, you know what's going into it, so obviously the less processed the better, um, but it's cheaper to cook in your home than to go out and, and dine in the real world. So today, uh, we're gonna be doing a crock pot recipe. Um, I keep looking over there, because I'm like, that's where my crock pot is, let's just get to it. Um, so, we're gonna be doing a crock pot recipe. It's broccoli and beef. It's like a, a version of a takeout classic. Um, it's one of those ones where it doesn't really do great if you turn it on in the morning and then go to work for a long time. It's one of the ones that I would prefer to do on the weekends. It's exactly what I'm doing. I'm working, doing this on a Sunday when I have some time to kind of babysit it. Uh, that's my best advice for this one at least. Um, there are other crock pot recipes where I'm like, leave it in there for eight hours and oh my gosh, I accidentally worked ten and a half or something like that. Um, there are more forgiving recipes. This one, I would say, is not. Not that it won't taste good. Um, it's just that the beef strips that you'll see me cutting later, they start kind of falling apart, and then they become more like shredded beef instead of the like strips that we're looking for that you could possibly like pick up with um, chopsticks or something like that. So let's get cooking. So we're gonna test this out. I have no idea how it's gonna go. My dog's obviously gonna bark at everything, but round one. So I decided that we're gonna start with broccoli and beef. So it's a slow cooker recipe. If we look over here, yes, slow cooker. Um, we have our slow cooker out and then I have all of my ingredients out already. So take a look at that. We've got some thin strip beef that I'll talk more about later. We have some just regular beef broth. Um, I try to get it in the biggest container I can find it when possible. Um, sesame oil, uh, a little tiny box of golden brown sugar, um, less sodium soy sauce, which I'll also talk a little bit about later. And then because I'm lazy, pre-minced garlic that won't focus. Focus? Oh uh, yeah, there we go. So that's what we're working with right now. Slow cooker, beef, stuff. All right, so next steps, this is really wonky. We gotta figure out this setup here. Okay, so next steps are gonna be all of like the broth components. So we got our meat in, wanna make sure you guys can see that. Ooh, meat, delicious. Measure out um, sugar, broth, sesame oil, low sodium. I'm gonna set you guys up in a different angle here. So you can kind of take a look at what I'm doing down below here. Sort of. There we go. Okay. So we need a cup, a measuring cup. I put them all over here. Here's literally a cup. Um, we need a cup of beef broth, which is this guy here. Put my Pyrex. Beef broth. Yes, there we go. 
Okay, so I got a cup of beef, 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 beef broth. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Kind of sprinkle it all over. You guys can't see, but I shook it all over. Uh, the next up is a half a cup of low sodium soy sauce. So let me get this out there. Oh, it's a brand new one. Half a cup. Uh, so while this is pouring out, because it's a little bit slow, it's gonna like stopper shaker thing in the top. Um, I mentioned I was gonna say something about low sodium soy, soy sauce. I cannot speak today. Um, so low sodium soy sauce has a little bit of a different taste, we've noticed, than regular soy sauce. Um, in recipes that specifically call for it, um, I always use it. In recipes that say, you know, regular soy sauce, I prefer regular soy sauce because I think the low sodium or less sodium has a, a different taste. Um, and so I caution you when like subbing things in or out um, to just be aware of things like that that could, could happen. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Um, let's see, a third a cup of dark brown sugar. Where's my third, 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 third? There we go. What does this look like in here? Interesting. Hard as a rock. Oh my god, okay. What are we doing? This is comically hard to work with right now. Okay, so the deal with brown sugar, I'm gonna make a mess and I'll just clean it up later, that's fine. Um, the deal with brown sugar is you gotta pack it in. Like, I'm talking, get it in there. Which is gonna be really difficult when this stuff just doesn't wanna work with me. Okay, cause this is a real cooking channel. I'm just gonna, do this. Yeah, here we go. Boop. Done. Sprinkle in a little bit more and call that a third. Because I don't have time to deal with that. So what I was going to start to say is typically you pack your brown sugar in, like pack it in, so it's nice and flat on the top um, and there's no like gaps. Um, sometimes when yours is like literally a rock, uh, you just find the big chunky chunks and just make do with what you got. Um, Cause like I said, this is, this is a real people, real recipe cooking channel, right? So you're gonna see things like that where I'm just like, I don't wanna deal with it. All right, so where are we at? Sesame oil? Cool. Sesame oil I think is a tablespoon. Uh, yes, a tablespoon. So my tablespoon, well used. Pretty sure I use it to measure coffee. Um, so that I promise it's a tablespoon. So one tablespoon of sesame oil, measure that out over the crock pot. Um, hopefully I'll get a better setup here so you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing as far as pouring is concerned. Um, garlic. So I really like garlic and actually while I'm thinking about it, I need to go get red pepper flakes. All right, so I need something to spoon the garlic out with. So I'm gonna grab that. And while I'm grabbing that, I'm gonna tell you that I really like garlic and I really don't like dealing with garlic. Oh, let's fix you here. Um, let's do this. Put you in a different location this time. There we go. Okay, so I really like garlic, but I don't like dealing with garlic. So I typically get minced garlic. I also have real garlic cloves um, in the fridge, but sometimes when I'm doing things like this with a crock pot, I'm just gonna throw in minced garlic. It's not gonna matter one way or the other. So if I can get this open, Aha, there we go, okay. So the recipe calls for three garlic cloves minced. If I'm walking off screen, it's because my instructions are over there. I'm in like the smallest, darkest corner of my kitchen. 
for weird reasons. Um, so it says three cloves, so I'm gonna take about yay much. This is a, a teaspoon, right? And so I'm using about yay much. Again, I like garlic. You don't have to add that much by any means. Um, the one thing that I've seen, so I'm gonna link to a bunch of different recipes that are similar to this one. Um, they're all about the same. Um, and one of them includes, you know, adding crushed red pepper. Okay, crushed red pepper is, is fantastic. Um, we really like it on pizza. Um, in fact, we go through a lot of crushed red pepper. So in some recipes, I think it's like, you can add a fourth of a tablespoon or, I mean, a fourth of a teaspoon or something like that. And some like really, really small amount. I'm gonna go ahead and just shake it until it looks good. And actually, let me, let me take you over here. Let's take a look. Okay. So this is what it's looking like. Uh, we haven't done any stirring. There's still that giant rock there. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shake. And like I said, I know in my house at least, we really like uh, crushed red pepper. So for me to add more or less, I'm gonna focus. Not today. Um, so I really like crushed red pepper. I know my house enjoys crushed red pepper, uh, my house being my boyfriend. And um, yeah, so that's what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and then give it a good stir. It makes that horrific noise and that's how you know it's going well. Um, I said I was gonna stir this. I'm gonna use this guy. Okay, enough of that. Um, so when I stir this, I'm gonna try to knock this giant brick around, maybe even just down. Um, basically what I wanna do is get all of the meat coated. Um, this is just ridiculous. Okay. There we go. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna drag my spoon ladle holder thing here. I'm going to put the top on here. And then we're good. Now we just have to wait. Um, there's a couple other steps that we have to add. Obviously this is broccoli and beef, so we have to add broccoli. Um, there's also cornstarch to add it to kind of like thicken up some of the brothy, saucy marinade stuff. Um, but we'll, we'll do that later as well. Last couple steps with our broccoli and beef, I went ahead and chopped up a whole bunch of broccoli into a four cup Tupperware container. And then if you see in the bottom, there's a little bit of a water line. Filled it up so that we could steam some broccoli before we plop it into the crock pot. So we're gonna go ahead and give this about five minutes and just let it do its thing. Make sure you keep the top off. So the other part was adding cornstarch into our crock pot. I've stirred it a couple times um, since, oh, and we steamed up the lens. Uh, crock pot recipes are best when you leave them alone, so only stir a couple times, just let them hang out. Okay, so I'm gonna stir that a little bit. Let's move it over here. So I'm gonna stir it with the spoon that I measured with. I can feel it all along the bottom. What you're trying to do is dissolve all the cornstarch and then add it to your crock pot so it thickens up that sauce marinade broth thing. Okay, so this feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and open this. And dump this in. See, it did a pretty good job stirring. And then we're gonna give this a couple stirs 
with the spoon that I've been using. And once the broccoli's done, we'll add that. Let it kind of hang out, cook just a little bit more. Um, and then we'll be good to go. We'll wait for our rice to finish up and we'll be done. So we got our broccoli out of the microwave, went ahead and emptied out the water that was sitting in the bottom by covering it kind of like this. Um, and then tilting it into the drain. I can't do that and hold a camera, that's okay. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and dump in our broccoli. Um, and I just put in the, the cornstarch, so that was just a couple minutes ago. So add our broccoli in, again, we'll give it a good mix. Uh, I like to pre-cook the broccoli because I want to eat it fairly soon. And we don't want it to be like extra, extra crunchy. Move the camera into my non-dominant arm. So there you go. So it's still on low. At this point, um, you could probably turn it off and, and get away with just letting it uh, just kind of hang out in there and continue to steam. Um, I'm gonna leave it going. Uh, we're waiting for our rice. I wanted to do uh, sticky rice, but it looks like we'll have to do that another day because you have to set it out on the counter. Um, and that's an adventure all of its own. So you've got some white rice in here. You can serve it with noodles, rice, whatever you want. Um, but that's it. Um, hope you guys think that that's simple and easy and something that you can, can tackle in your kitchen. Bye.